Hello, my name is Justin Osai. I'm a Generative AI Specialist Solutions Architect here at AWS. And today we will have an introduction on multi-agent collaboration with Amazon Bedrock Agents. Amazon Bedrock simplifies multi-agent collaboration, enabling developers to create, deploy, and manage specialized agents. A supervisor agent orchestrates tasks by breaking processes into steps, assigning them to the right agents, and ensuring reliable outcomes. With tools like the AWS console, debugging features, and automatic routing, developers can set up workflows quickly without coding. This scalability adapts to evolving business needs while maintaining efficiency and alignment with goals, freeing teams to innovate and drive meaningful value. With multi-agent collaboration, customers can experience capabilities like getting accurate results by assigning specialized agents to validate data sources and references, accelerate tasks with agents working in parallel or sequence, and effortlessly orchestrate agents without complex coding, just to name a few. Now, let's take a look at the AWS Management Console to examine one of the ways Bedrock agents can be created. After navigating to the Bedrock Console in the AWS account, select Agents under Builders Tools, then create an agent by selecting the orange button on the right. Next, we can provide an agent name or keep the default name that was generated. Then, we will enable the multi-agent collaboration feature. After, we select the Create button that will then create our supervisor agent. You will be navigated to the following screen where we then select the Edit an Agent Builder button. Here, you will see the agent details along with the other configurations. Let's scroll down to see the instructions provided in the multi-agent collaboration settings. These are the instructions that are provided to the main supervisor agent. Let's scroll down further. In this section, we see multi-agent collaboration is enabled along with four agent collaborators, which are your sub-agents, that have already been configured. Now, we will go into edit mode for the multi-agent collaborator supervisor agent. As you can see, collaboration details is toggled on to appoint this agent as supervisor. Now, for the collaboration configurations, supervisor with routing is enabled to allow subagent routing. Let's scroll down further to look at more of the settings. Here is where we add subagent to the supervisor agent, and here is an example of one of the subagent collaborator settings. A subagent alias collaborator name and high-level instructions for the subagent is provided. And we enable conversation history sharing to leverage previous responses for future invocations. Now, we will have a look at how data is processed in the workflow across different Bedrock agents. To start, let's briefly review the use case. A customer support assistant is needed for a large retailer scaling rapidly to meet growing customer demand for quick and effective support. Customers expect help with troubleshooting, personalized recommendations, and order management. By leveraging Amazon Bedrock's multi-agent collaboration, the retailer efficiently handles high volumes of inquiries, provides personalized assistance, and empowers human agents to focus on complex tasks, ensuring superior customer experiences. As the retailer grows, a robust customer support system becomes vital for managing diverse inquiries. Amazon Bedrock's multi-agent solution streamlines operations, resolves technical issues, and delivers tailored recommendations. This AI-powered system ensures faster, accurate responses while scaling to meet customer needs, maintaining high-quality service and operational efficiency. Let's quickly review each agent's objective, starting with the supervisor agent, which is the entry point and orchestrator for all customer interactions. It captures the customer's initial inquiry, determines their intent, then routes the request to the appropriate specialized agent for resolution. Now, please note, the supervisor agent can also act as a security agent, ensuring secure and compliant interactions by verifying the customer's identity, protecting sensitive information, and preventing unauthorized access along with other security features. But for simplicity, we will exclude the security logic for this demo. Next is the order management agent, which is a sub-agent collaborator that has access to product inventory and customer orders. It uses SQL queries to fetch data. Next is the product recommendation agent, which is also a sub-agent collaborator that has access to product catalog, purchase history, and customer feedback data. It uses SQL queries and knowledge bases to pull relevant information. Next, we have the troubleshooting agent, which is also a sub-agent collaborator that has access to FAQ and troubleshooting documentation to assist customers. This agent also uses a knowledge base to gather data. Lastly, the personalization agent is a sub-agent collaborator that has access to customer preferences and browser history data. 
This information is used to help personalize the customer interaction. This agent uses SQL queries and knowledge base to gather information. Now, let's have a look at the architecture diagram. Each agent will have access to a knowledge base and action group to carry out tasks. Now let's examine the workflow as the input is processed through the agents. As shown, tasks are delegated to the appropriate agents, then final responses are returned back to the supervisor agent. This agent synthesizes the response and returns it back to the user. Now we will see multi-agent collaboration with Bedrock agents in action, but from a front user interface perspective. First, we enter a prompt. Let's review it to see how it will interact with the agents. Recently ordered an Ultrabook Pro laptop. After a few months, the battery started to die quickly. Help me troubleshoot. This part of the prompt will require interaction with the troubleshooting agent regarding a battery issue for the Ultrabook Pro laptop. Recommend other products that are currently in stock that I would be interested in. We also mimic being logged in as customer 002. This part of the prompt will need information from the personalization and order management agent in order to gather enough information for an accurate response. The supervisor agent rationalizes the request, then creates several tasks that will be delegated to sub-agents. It will start with the troubleshooting and order management agents first. The order management agent creates an SQL query to fetch all products that are in stock. The final results are sent to the supervisor agent. The troubleshooting agent analyzes the sub request sent from the supervisor agent, then fetches data on battery problems or fixes and model specifics for the Ultrabook Pro laptop that was gathered from the knowledge base through semantic search. This information is used to create a final response and sent back to the supervisor agent. Next, the personalization agent creates an SQL query to get customer preferences for customer 002. This agent fetches customer preferences from the SQL database and browser history from the knowledge base that's used to create a synthesized final response. This response is sent back to the supervisor agent. After the supervisor agent receives all information needed from the sub-agents, it generates a synthesized response that is sent back to the customer. This summarizes our demo. Thanks for watching.